Burt Bank was in the crowd. I was 11 or 12 years old, and that was the greatest desire of all people, not only young people like myself at that time, to go back and see this first Rose Bowl team. They were the heroes. It was a holiday in Tuscaloosa. All schools were out. Tom Allen was 16 years old. The parade was led by the Million Dollar Band, while the team followed in student-drawn wagons called Drays. About 150 of us pulled those wagons all the way to the muddy quad on campus. It was a great day. The cameras focused on Brown with a Hollywood smile and Hubert with a dented nose as they savored the moment with their teammates. They stood on the historic University Mound atop the ruins of a dormitory destroyed by invading Union troops. As team captain Bruce Jones sought out his fiance in the crowd, a national photographer promised to snap a picture. Well, I was very shy. I backed away a little bit, but that didn't stop Bruce. He kept right on. He did kiss me and love me back too, and I was happy to see him back home. It took 14 years, but President Denny had his winner. He gladly handed out the spoils, inscribed pocket watches for every player. You can look at the 1926 Rose Bowl as the most significant event in Southern football history. What had come before was almost like a buildup, a preparation to this grand coming out party. And it was a sublime tonic for Southerners who were buffeted by a legacy of defeat, military defeat, a legacy of poverty, and a legacy of isolation from the American political and cultural mainstream.